Okay, so I just came back from a Korean market. I went there for some food and I figured I bought such cool stuff that I figured some of you are gonna be really interested or just as excited as I was to know where to find those items. First, I started with, um, I got Sophie, some heirloom variety rice. She, she basically is on a rice diet with some goodies added to it and I try to get her only organic rice because there is a lot of GM rice. This is an heirloom Japanese style variety, GMO free. It's the... I've bought this before actually, it's some designer brand um, Rose California grown rice. And then I got some of this. It's organic alfalfa sprouts. And after that, what else did I get? Oh, I got some daikon sprouts, pretty fancy. And some organic oyster, baby oyster mushrooms. This is gonna go into some coconut curry. This is really exciting. Bamboo, leaf tea. Um, there was blueberry variety. Um, vanilla and just bamboo flavored. Uh, the reason why it's so exciting is bamboo is one of the herbs that is really good for flexibility, uh, joints, muscles. So I'm excited to try this. Sophie's really <laughs> liking the items. Hey baby. What's up Sophie? Huh? Is this good? Alright, so the next thing is I've never seen this before and I'm pretty excited to try it in recipes. It's called rocamboli. It's in the allium family. It's a type of garlic, but as you can see, it's a young garlic and looks very much like chives, but it's not chives, it's a garlic. What else did I get? And, oh, this is good. I got some organic dried jujubes. This is gonna go in some cooked drinks and teas etc. It will make it sweet. What else? Oh, we got some sprouted organic tofu and some more organic mushrooms. I don't get those often so when I go to a Korean market I knock myself out with organic mushrooms. This is very interesting. I've never seen it before. I don't eat a lot of grains but when I see a new variety of grains. Sophie, this is interesting. It's a glutinous Millet, Sophie. Sophie, sit, sit, baby, sit. Uh huh, uh huh, sit, sit. Yes, good girl. Yeah, good girl, baby, stay there. All right, so this, I'm not sure. It's gonna be sticky like sweet rice, and it's a green color. It's a type of a millet, but much smaller grain. So it's gonna be really interesting to try. I like sweet rice. What else? Another organic mushroom mushroom variety. It's uh, beach mushrooms. And I've been looking for this for a while and hopefully stop carrying it. And the reason why I've been looking for it is because of Osho. He made one time this amazing coconut milk sweet rice. And since then I've been trying to buy sweet rice. I used to buy it a long time ago and then I stopped. So I finally found organic sweet rice. This one is brown sweet rice. They did have the white variety too at the market, but I just got the, the um, brown one. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Sophie, what is this baby? Huh? No, no, it's not for you. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. Good oh, girl. Alright, so this is um, burdock root. I, I think I'm gonna make a burdock steak or just cook it uh, in a stew. And I got, just for fun, some ginkgo nuts. And I don't get those often. And couldn't find organic or any type of uh, roasted seaweed. So I got this. I know to be careful with seaweed because of the Fukushima. Even this one is from Korea, so hopefully it's okay. And that's about it. That's all I got. But there was a lot of cool and interesting items that I think I'm going to post the photos. 
I took a few photos there, so I think I'm gonna post them either on my blog or after this video. Namaste.